guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today I'm gonna go over my current favorite highlighters if you missed my highlighter collection video it's a little bit outdated I have picked up a couple highlighters since then but I'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards right up here so you can kind of see how I organize everything so today I'm going to be going over my favorite high-end highlighters so I'll definitely be doing a drugstore version of this in the future but I was going through my drawer and I already picked out six of my favorites and they happen to all be higher end so I'm just gonna split this into two parts Part one being higher end and then part two being drugstore because you don't have to spend a lot of money for a good highlighter, especially now. But that's going to be for video number two. So before we jump in, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like my content. And if you want to see the rest of my videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, so I'm, my most recent highlighter purchase that I've fallen in love with is from Becca. This is the limited edition Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Royal Glow. This came out especially for the royal wedding and it's got a crown imprinted in the actual highlighter. I am wearing this highlighter today and I love it. I've been using it literally every day since I've gotten it a couple weeks ago. I'm doing my best to use it around the crown because I don't want to like get rid of the crown indentation but it's already wearing off a little bit on the top because I've been using it so much. I'm not sure if this is still available. I was able to get this on the QVC website and it came with a highlighting brush that I think is just in my brush drawer because I like to use the ABH highlighting brush whenever I highlight. But this is just a beautiful highlighter in the pan. It does look a little dark, but when you actually like apply it with a brush, you can kind of see the swatch right there. But when you sheer it out with a brush, it is beautiful. Someone my skin tone can definitely wear it. I think it will look beautiful on darker skin tones if you build it up. Because if you just like swatch it, like really concentrated, it's a beautiful like gold. But you can then um, thin it out so that it looks nicer on lighter skin tones. I'm not sure if you're like a lot lighter than me that it would work for you. So I think like the lightest you could go is like me, which I'm an um, NW20 for MAC. And then um, like for drugstore, I like having a drugstore reference and a MAC reference, though most people like the MAC references. In the uh, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, like my skin match is the C5. The next highlighter that I really like comes from MAC and this was limited edition that they recently brought back. I'm not sure if it's still available. If I can find links for everything, I will go ahead and throw that in the description box below. But this is Whisper of Guilt and this is another one where I saw this online and I saw pictures of it and I thought that's way too dark for me. I'm not going to be able to use that. But I saw it at a MAC counter, I swatched it and it's absolutely stunning. It's like a light gold but it's got... It's not like a true gold, it's got a little bit of a reflect in it. Um, and again, you can build it up on a swatch and make it look really deep, but when you blend it out, I blended it out right here, it just gives you this lovely glow and you can definitely sheer it out. This was actually my first MAC highlighter that I ever purchased and I'm very happy with it. I've actually worn off some of the design right there in the middle. Highly, highly recommend Whisper of Guilt. I'm not sure about the rest of their highlighters because I haven't really tried a whole lot of them other than this one really, but this one is fantastic because this used to be like the talk of YouTube. I remember when I first started watching YouTube, everyone was about Makeup Geek and MAC and everyone talked about Whisper of Guilt, but I think back then it was still limited edition and you really couldn't get it after it was gone. This came out, I wanna say a couple weeks ago, I was at the mall and I was able to go to the MAC counter and pick it up. If it's still available, I'll make sure the link is down below. My next favorite highlighter comes from Fenty Beauty. It is one of her duos. This is in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And as you can see, I've hit so much pan on lightning dust which is like the more like subtle side because um with these duos you get one side that's kind of like subtle and then you get one side that's kind of really shimmery and just more of a pop i love this subtle side right here because it might be subtle in that it doesn't have a lot of sparkle but it's beautiful like it look it doesn't look like you're wearing a highlighter it just looks like you're glowing I got this and I literally used it straight until I hit pan and then I said okay you know what I have to put it away start using another highlighter because I was afraid of using this up already. <laughs> I didn't use the fire crystal side as often when I first got this just because I was so enamored with the lightning dust side but it's also a beautiful highlighter. My favorite way to use it is to use the more tame side lightning dust all over the cheekbones, I use a, a little bit up here on the nose and the um, cupid's bow and then I'll take just a little bit of fire crystal and put it like right there just so that whenever you turn you just have like the pop right there. Love it. 
The last three highlighters are all in palettes. So the first highlighter in a palette that I love is from the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. And doo -doo -doo, it is called Satin Sheets. And it's right up here in the corner. I really need to compare this to the eyeshadow shade. Give me a second. Okay, so they're not the same. I just swatched the satin sheets from the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes Palette along with the satin sheets from the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. Even though they have the same name, they're not exactly the same color. They've got the same consistency and texture, but the satin sheets in the Natural Face Palette definitely has more of like a gold undertone, whereas the satin sheets from the Boudoir Eyes has more of like a pinky undertone to it so they're not the same which I was I would be surprised if they were but they're not but the satin sheets is just a beautiful highlighter you can definitely get a really strong glittery effect if you put it on too hard but I like to take a big fluffy brush kind of swirl it in there tap off the excess and then blend it out and it's stunning absolutely stunning i'm not sure if this would work on a lot of deeper skin tone just because it is so light and reflective but you could build it up definitely especially because if i like do a concentrated swatch it's a nice deep kind of gold highlight as you can see from the wear on this palette i've actually worn out the entire imprint on just satin sheets while the rest of the palette is kind of still to be used i do like this entire palette i've used it quite a lot but that one highlighter made me fall in love with this palette. The next highlighter from the palette that I love is actually from Kylie Cosmetics. This was such a surprise to me. This is from her Weather Collection. This is just the highlighter palette. And the shade that I love is actually the one all the way to the right. I'm gonna get this wrong. I think it's called Cloud Nine. So it's the one right, ooh, can you focus? It's the one right here. So it's the one right here on the end. In the palette, it looks really dark. But the thing with these shadow, not shadows, the thing with these highlighters is that they look dark in the pan, but when you actually like swatch them, they're not that dark and you can definitely sheer them out. So even though you've got like these darker shades right here, someone with my complexion can 100% wear them with a light hand. So I really don't think this eyeshadow, or not, oh, why do I keep saying eyeshadow? So I really don't think this highlighter palette really caters to deeper skin tones which is unfortunate. I do talk about that in my full review of the Weather Collection from Kylie. I'll throw that up in the cards as well. But for someone of like a light to medium, maybe medium deep complexion, could get full use out of the entire palette. But what surprised me was that my I thought like looking at photos and swatches that I thought like this lightest like kind of vanilla shade would be my favorite but it doesn't look that fantastic on me. I can definitely wear it but my favorite has been like the salmony pink shade from this palette. And the last favorite highlighter that I will talk about today comes from the ABH Sugar Glow Kit. Another surprise for me and it's actually the shade Starburst right here. It's another pinky shade. I looked at this and I was like I'm... Oh my god, I almost dropped it. I looked at this shade and I thought that I wouldn't really get a whole lot of use out of it. I didn't really see anything special, but then I swatched it. It looks a lot lighter in a swatch. Even on your finger, it does. And then when you blend it out, even with your finger, it doesn't look glittery. It doesn't look crazy. It just looks like a nice glow. And then when you shade this out with a brush, it's the most fantastic highlight that I own. I had to like again I had to put this away so that I would stop using it because I love it so much. I really wish they sold these in singles because with the glow kits if you didn't know you can actually pop them all out and kind of rearrange them in any way you want or put them in Z palettes but I love 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 Starburst. So those are all my favorite higher end highlighters. Let me know down below what your favorite higher end highlighters are. And also let me know if you're excited to see the drugstore version of this hopefully coming in the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.